Again, House Committee on Privatization and Commercialization has met with federal ministries, agencies, operators in the Nigerian Port Authority and relevant stakeholders to discuss on the issues of renewal of lease agreements, rehabilitation of the port and Tingan Island, amongst others. The Vice Chairman, Honorable Colonel Victor Akinger, who chaired the meeting after delivery his brief remarks, called on the representatives to make their presentations. To repair and upgrade the port infrastructure to a world class standard so that big vessels calling about 17 meters below low uh, waters can come to Tinkan Island Port Complex. But we are aware that that proposal is still going, uh, going through processing, not yet approved. The committee is worried that such PPP proposal that have huge potential on improving our port infrastructures as emphasized by the concessioning of the port terminal operations to private sector will be left languishing on table gathering dust for close to some, some years in the face of increased unemployment among our youths in the country and dwindling revenues of the federal government. We as a parliament and a very responsive committee of the House with mandate over all privatized public enterprises resolved to immediately convey this expanded meeting with the parties as the relevant MDAs that are involved in ensuring that such opportunities are next in the national interest. The proposal which is the subject of a further inquiry by the by this committee. Of course, it's one that we are aware of. But I'd just like to say that at this stage, the, uh, as the Honorable Chairman said, we note that there are several players, several concessionaires within the terminal uh, operation space of our port. If it were a single uh, entity, like uh, the company we are dealing with today, Obviously, it would have been a much easier approach to handle this. So the Honorable Minister's position had been that there is need for a holistic overview, a holistic restructuring of port infrastructure, both at Apapa and Tinkan. And it's that holistic approach has been, uh, we've been pursuing. Issues around the urgent need to rehabilitate the entire Tin Canala port was not um, in dispute. No, no, no terminal operator disputed that. And um, we presented TICT proposal as one that we could all work with, but we wanted their own contribution to that. Um, we set a work plan. The Nigerian Ports Authority was mandated to share the proposal with all the terminal um, operators, which we did uh, within the given um, deadline. The next phase would be for TICT to then meet with the other operators. We're taking steps to do all required of them. You are sitting on it. Then you are negotiating now for another concession that will overrun them without them being here. The 280 million, sir, you want to invest will run across part of some subsisting concessions of other persons. I don't know. MPA, are there no, I'm talking to you, sir, man. Are there no concessions on where he wants to invest this to a something million dollars? After listening to all the presentations made, the members resolved that Ministry of Transportation, NPA, BPE, and ICRC should appear before the House in the next seven days to brief the House on the full details on the renewal process. The House also resolved to meet with the stakeholders on the 14th of March 2022 after they had turned in their comments to look at the harmonized version of what they want.